you might have two or three people watching just as a heads up. I don't get a lot of people watching. Uh, yes, um, and I always upload it to YouTube when we're done, so. Alright. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven aka Storm and we are back for some more of the Elder Scrolls Online as we wish the Mighty Battle Lizard. How is everyone doing this fine evening? Uh, I am joined here by three members of Gilda Femina. Of course, I am myself a member of Gilda Femina. We have the usuals of RCG and Tina Anna, and we are joined today by Jay Maloney. Uh, how is everyone doing this evening? <laughs> I am just sending out a quick invite to get everyone in the chat. Uh, or to, into the uh, to let everyone know what we're doing. Hold on, just a minute, guys. Alright, can everyone hear me? Yes. Talking to us or your chat? Yeah, I'm talking to you guys, sorry. Okay, yes, we so can hear you. Everything went strangely quiet, so I just wanted to make sure that y'all can still hear me. So. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time we had technical difficulties, so... Alright, so uh, we are doing the new dungeons that just dropped for the Lost Depths DLC, which is the second DLC pack of the Year of the Bretons, or sorry, Legacy of the Bretons Year Long Adventure. Uh, we'll be doing, um, well, do you guys want to do Graven Deep or the uh, other one first? It doesn't matter. Either of you I guys. Don't want to okay, uh, you guys don't have any preference to which one we do first? Nope. Then we'll go ahead and head into Graven Deep first, and then we'll do the other one after. Um, I always forget its name. <laughs> um, I am going to go ahead and pick up the quest from the collection tab, and I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. Um, I know Jay and RCG won't be able to, to, to do it again unless um, they haven't done it on those particular characters. Tina, yeah, have you done these character. dungeons yet? Um, I tried to do the underwater one, but I couldn't get past the last boss because me and a friend were only doing it with three people, so okay. we had no tank. And just as a reminder, uh, we're going uh, when we get into the dungeon. I'm going to need to talk to the person and go through their text wall, and I'll have to do that again at the end of each dungeon. So we'll just have to pause for a minute. I'll get through that real quick, and then we'll proceed forward. The good thing is they removed a lot of the text walls throughout the dungeon, so we don't have to stop and talk to the NPC every few minutes. I really hated when they did that because my chat likes to read the entire text log, so. All right, so let's go ahead and put ourselves in the queue. I wish I could guarantee a random dungeon so we could get that beautiful experience, but that's just not going to happen. <laughs> Actually, I've, I don't think I've ever done a random dungeon with four people before, like because usually what happens is somebody has to start the um, the dungeon and then the random people get added to their party, doesn't it? Usually, yeah, it usually rolls. I do it with friends. He just um, rolls a random dungeon number generator thingy. Yeah. I was trying to check to see if drops were live today, but it doesn't look like they are. Okay. Isabel was unsummoned, but that was to be expected. Hello, Jarlis. Such luck! We've shipwrecked on an uncharted island. We might never be found. 
No time to bask in fortune's blessing. That storm that hit us, did you see how it sprung from this island? I may have crashed onto the answer I seek. What question do you need answered? I'm helping a friend research the ancient druid king's voyage from High Rock to the Sisters. His ship's log begins midway across the Abyssian Sea, right where we now stand. I must learn why the book starts here, and how that storm rose to greet us. How do you plan to learn that? Mate, you mean how will we learn that? Landing on this island bound our fates. We'll scour this island for clues. Whatever raised that storm must be obvious. Keep whatever else you find as payment. Once satisfied, we can leave on this raft I made. I'll help you find what made the storm and its connection to the Druid King. Praise Tava's breath. She had one more adventure to offer me. So, see the cliffs at the island center? We'll split up to survey them. You take north, I'll head east. Keep watch for anything that could summon that storm. Or anything druidy. I didn't know druidy was a word. Can you say more about the research that brought us here? My friend, Druid Laurel, enjoys digging up ancient histories. These days, she's fascinated by someone called Druid King Kassarain. Long ago, he led his people to the Sisters' Islands. Laurel gave me a logbook from his trip, but it's incomplete. What did she ask you to learn? Where the Druid King launched from when he led the Druids out of High Rock. She's tracing his path from Tamriel to Iphelon, but hit a wall. If I can find anything to advance her research, she'd appreciate it. I admit, I don't know much about this. If you don't know much, why did Druid Laurel ask for you to help? <laughs> a fair question. Before the Mages Guild, I sailed all across the Abyssian Sea. I dare claim that no one knows these waters like I do. Laurel wanted to trace the Druid King's voyage, and fortunately, this old pirate owed her a favor. What is this island? Looks like you and I have found what's inside the infamous Graven Deep. Can't say that this small island lives up to the legend. The speed of that storm that hit us, though, that surely does. I'd wager we'll learn more once we climb those cliffs. Any more thoughts on the storm that hit us? It crashed upon us with our hunger, didn't it? I can't say it was the roughest storm I've endured, but it was most certainly the fastest. Look around, though. The beach debris didn't only come from us. This has happened many times before. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> the sea would wash this island away before I could tell you my whole story. These days, I'm a member of the Mages Guild. Before that, most would call me a pirate. And I can't deny that it fairly describes my work back then. Why did you join the Mages Guild? Like most Redguard, I grew up skeptical of magic. But about ten years back, I had a close brush with death. In that moment, I realized I wasn't yet ready for Tuwaka's journey. I prayed for more time. And it was magic that brought me back to life. What did magic do for you? My friend Druid Laurel found me on the beach. She used her magic to heal me. I didn't fail to heed Tuwaka's lesson. Once my strength returned, I sought out the Mage's Guild. Why stop working as a pirate? Oh, when one's a pirate, I don't think they ever fully give it up. The seawater stays in your blood. By the time I began studying magic, I'd done everything a pirate could possibly do. Stormed ships, fought sea monsters, and looted treasure galore. All right, I'm done. Sorry about that. All right, let's go and do what uh, Gilda Famina does best. Fall off cliffs? Uh, I was thinking murder, but... I mean, that's a true statement. Murder! That's true. We're well, mostly dying of falling off cliffs. Yes. I'm fond of murder. Murder, come for the murder tree. Also known as our Tuesday night group event. Those things are annoying, they're actually kinda tanky. Oh, come on then, you clacking beasts. Oh, wait, Poor Vorger. 
I've almost reached the top. Why don't you show off, the old pirate? Tell you what, after being in the guild so long, it would be really hard to go back to being just a solo player without who doesn't have any kind of guild interaction. Look at the jaws on you, creature. Not. Yeah. That's true. Alright, the first secret boss is right over here. Now, the order that the cubes have to be activated in changes every time, so it's not going to be the same order as last time, Jay and RCG. Old secrets left behind. So we have to Play kind of do trial and error to wish. figure out which is the right order. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one. Okay, that's not the... Three of them. Not the most complex of mysteries, it would seem. Serve me. Man, we did um, Blood Root Forge earlier Can on the uh, EU server, and we ran it so quickly. Like, we were just, like, liquidizing the bosses, even though it was a DLC dungeon. It's like... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like... I've run other, I've run not, other like dungeons design. from that like time frame, and they were actually quite difficult. But Bloodroot Forge just seems so easy in comparison to like Fall Creek Hole. I don't know if that was. Yeah. Also, also lots of things falling from the sky that blow you up. Lots of those. And I hate minotaurs. I hate minotaurs. <laughs> also, it's like they're, you know, are they men? Are they bulls? <laughs> like Zeus did some messed up stuff in Greek mythology. Everyone. Impressive, but other secrets away. How long until one cuts you down? There should have been a god or goddess of Bonk whose only job was to to follow Zeus with the horny bat. <laughs> Her name is Hera. Yeah. <laughs> but Hera did Hera didn't really curb Zeus's horny impulses though. Like she didn't she didn't do the Bonk. Yeah, she just bonked him. She punished him. his children though, the ones who were completely innocent of his crimes. But she was jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's definitely bonked him more than once. Oh yeah. But not the kind of bonk that he needed. As did Hermes. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, by bonk, I was referring to the meme where the dog has the bat and goes bonk, bonk. Yeah, the one's like, the bonk drone has found the horny. It's just a bat on a drone. Dwarven construction! I'll join you presently, after I handle some Hadalid bullies. Yeah, I love how he's like, we are going to find the answer. I'm like, no, that means... The four of us are going to find the answer while you do check shoot. <laughs> yeah, 
If you have the AOE on you, stand on one of the vents that makes it go away. Yeah, you can also press, uh, you can also use the synergy to make it go away as well. Because what I'll do, it'll, uh, it'll freeze the, center, the uh, AOE to the ground and you can roll out of it. It would be very nice if I got back to my feet. You know, I finished the Slaughter of Ruin on my, um, uh, my, um you know, the, the Mythic or whatever they're called, and I have absolutely no idea what I would use it on. Because, like, I have no character builds where I think it would actually be useful on. Especially since I'm running the, uh, Blood Lords and Brace on my Titan. It reduces your damage, I want to say, to increase other people's damage. I would have to look at it again, but I think it decreases your DPS in exchange for increasing other people's DPS. So it would be for a healer and tank to use. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I don't know if there's any really good, um, are you down? I'm trying to find, oh. Tina and her really fast heals have got, or resins have got you. I'm sorry, my heals aren't as good as they usually are. They really need healing. Yeah. Yeah, they they even nerf vigor it's like quite a bit actually. Oof! I didn't even see that coming. Yeah. If you get those AOEs, make sure you stand on those geysers so that the tangrips can stop spawning in. Oh, I didn't realize that's how that worked. Yeah, this, this this boss fight is like one of the messiest. No kidding. Yeah, this guy does not hate. Just goes where he wants. Yeah, he does not do the proper aggro. He reminds me of that boss from um, not the Coral Airy, but the um, trap, the other dungeon that came out, the one with Jakar in it. Um, Shipwreck. Yeah, shipwreck coat. No, wait, no, no. It would have been Coral Airy. I guess it would have been Coral Airy. Uh, it's the girl no, it's who, the the night play girl who's like everywhere all at once. Yeah. And they also he has ads just like she does. I'm trying to use my execute, but it's not really. Ah! I got killed with him at 0.2%. Now, my question is, I wonder if I have any armor pieces I don't already have. I can feel salt in my veins once more. Let's open that hatch!
Guess we're about to find out. I really don't like the fact that I don't have my sanctuary balls anymore instead have a huge green circle. Yeah, that's... I'm upsetty spaghetti. I want to check something real quick. Dark Conversion did not get nerfed too badly, thankfully. Endless Fury also did not get that badly nerfed, so... When you said nerfs, you reminded me that I should probably check to see if my abilities got nerfed. More and more curious. Swampier than I expect. Look here on the desk. Scattered papers. Strange. Right. So, uh, if you pull up your maps real quick. Uh, actually, this is really... Scout ahead if you will. Uh, do you I'll see... Oh, hey! Uh, welcome to the stream. A boatload of studying to do. Yeah, I understand. Uh, good to see you. Um, glad to hear from you. Did you see the meme I sent you earlier? Yeah, for the for you guys' uh, sake, uh, the meme was uh, this person. Was, it showed their bathtub with a cat sitting in it. It says uh, the the most interesting thing about this encounter this morning on the, on my trip to the bathroom is I don't even own a cat. This <laughs> is just a cat. Yep, yep. All right. Bone Colossus. So, Tina, how do you feel about uh, spy movies? What kind of spy movies? The kind where they, uh, like, weave through laser tripwires. Oh, I already did this one. Okay. I got to the last class. And, and no, I did not like it. <laughs> I did not like I'm it at hoping, all. I'm hoping that my um, my uh, streak ability will let me bypass them, but we're going to have to wait and see. Do they make you upsetty spaghetti is the question. Good they night. make me upsetty spaghetti. Oh, um, I actually won't be streaming uh, Sunday uh, because I'll be out shopping instead. Uh, my stream will actually, my uh, my weekly stream will be tomorrow from 11 to 2 instead, so. You know, uh, big groups of people is the perfect fodder for a lightning staff that deals more damage the more enemies you hit. Mob packs are the best thing for a lightning staff. To the right, to the right. Also, silver shards from the fighter's guild abilities. That's where it's at for large mobs. Alright, testing time. Let me test this. Like a fish yes, it works! By okay. I'll see you next week then. then Except for uh, if I'm too close, it doesn't work. So I have to be back a little bit. Just let me get this, guys. This hallway might be too long. Do not feel bold too quickly. Hurry, mortal! <laughs> yeah, this hallway's too long. Uh, if I can get near the end, though, I can, I can flash through. So. Almost made it. The delicious scent of burnt mortal. An unforgiving punishment. I was I mistimed that. Ugh. Keep amusing me. Ah, I almost made it. The it kicked me back anyway. <laughs> I was literally standing on the plate. Delicious scent of burnt mortar. 
Made it. Are you tired? These machines shall give you no Okay, yeah, rest. definitely bringing a sorcerer in here is a really good idea. <laughs> the dwarves here had so many toys to play with. But here comes one now. So you realize this is going to probably work on the other one too, right? The other one that was super annoying with the, like the controlling the panels that we can get like if, my, if I can get the street yes. distance right, I can I could probably what just cheat that entire um, puzzle. Hey, um, anyone want this? Yep, so do I. I need it, please. Okay, I shall trade it to you once we're back in that main, in that room, sorry. There you are. There you go. Make sure to bind it so you don't get it again. Also, don't forget to check the side passages for chests. Oh, not today. See, one thing I do like about Final Fantasy XIV dungeons is that chests appear in certain places, so you always know where the chests are going to be. Unfortunately, you don't always. There's not always chests in the same place in ESO because it's random. So. Yeah, that's true. But sometimes you can run a dungeon and not find a single chest. The random They're number They're at generator. the walls. They're in the walls of the floor, usually. I'm not kidding. I found a chest in a... I found a chest in a rock once. Inside of a rock. I wouldn't have known uh, unless I had the shinies on, but I, I was in, uh, what was it? I was in Bastion, the, the Rose Bastion one. Yeah, no dice over there. I'm checking over here. And the bookshelf. Oh, I got a one-handed sword and shield increase. Not that that's... Not that that's good for a um, sorcerer, but the sorcerer tanks don't. I don't think sorcerer tanks really have meta, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my uh, golden made one. That's uh, pretty, pretty uh, OP. Well, to be fair, golden's Excellent. like an Another overpowered breach. tank person, anyways. So, Go ahead, yes, he's overpowered. I, I don't know. It's his golden standard. This <laughs> is Golden Sandra, I love it. <laughs> hey, when I tell you to use, uh, to use at the, you know, you use your, your, your dot, use your dot, dude. I'm talking to my character. I told him to use, oh, it, somebody probably activated it. Um, I don't honestly care. We could just burn him down to, to make this go as fast as possible.
unlike the last one. <laughs> I love the storm map. It's so great. Got him. See it's up here. Did you ask permission? You didn't need to take your hands off right now. No, don't touch me there. This is not no no square. Oh no. <laughs> okay. What yeah, happened? Uh, Cheetah, why did you draw the square around the knife? Because you shouldn't have run into it in the first place. <laughs> Even before Tina's just a fancy knife. I actually, said that, <laughs> I actually said that joke to someone once, and I was like, excuse me, I identify as a dagger, sir. And I'm like, I apologize, I did not mean to assume that you were a knife. Fine work, it looks fun. Now... Yeah, I've officially finished all the armor, because this is another, um, this is another duplicate. Do you want it, Tina? Please and thank you. If I can find it. <laughs> I just literally was looking at it and there we go. I was gonna say, but Ossifer, he ran into my knife. He ran into your knife 20 times if you want to go with that story. Well, yeah, he wouldn't stop. <laughs> he wouldn't stop running into my knife. <laughs> I was just innocently holding my knife, and he just kept running his Deeper face into go. it. Get on the platform. All right, everyone, Maybe. stand around the Hold switch because you'll ready. get to the edge faster if you do. The closer you are to the switch, the easier, the faster it is to get to the edge. Having said that, I'm an Argonian, so I'm going to move over here. Whee! You know, ironically, I landed, like, right next to the end, <laughs> to where I needed to be. <laughs> I'm the only one who landed right next to it, and I moved out of where I'm supposed to. <laughs> Never mind, I was wrong. You're still supposed to stand closer to the back. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to learn this dungeon. Sure. Oh my goodness, Stormer, how could you? Just don't stab me. I just want to go home. No problem. You're lucky I don't have a knife on this character. <laughs> it's like, it would be kind of strange if you had knives as a healer. Try and... I can beat you with the ball at the top, though. <laughs> That's true. All right. You know, I wish that you know using lightning in a puddle of water actually did more damage. Yeah, you think it would. Maybe it's not actually lightning. It's just arcane, but very, very shocking. I'm shocked to hear that. Once again, there's not a chest back here. We did find a chest back here once. Once again, I'm asking for a treasure chest. Once again, I'm being denied. I love how they recycled the assets from the underwater house for this. It does. And we don't have to pay that exuberant cost for the house. <laughs> as much as I would love to have this Argonian have an underwater house for his base of operations. What do you mean? I didn't pay an exorbitant price for that house. I paid a perfectly reasonable price. Of a, like a hundred dollars? Forty. 
only forty dollars? Yeah, because I bought it when crowns were on sale. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will one day find a, a house to use as this character's main base of operations, but I have not found it yet because, uh, oh, hey guys, down this way. Last secret boss is this way. Yeah, now one, once you go to the final boss, there's no coming back to this boss. Also, don't forget to check these little side corners for chests. This is also the first warning, not just the final warning, it's also the first warning. Okay. Okay. Okay, I managed to make it this far, but I need at least a couple more uh, cleared, so if you guys could play with the buttons. It's just... Okay, I should be able to make it. Nope, hold on. Hold on. I think I got- Oh, I think I got this. Hold on. Not even a nope, good I just barely didn't make it. Let me try to get it. Alright. I'm not gonna make it from right here, I don't think. Wait, there we go. How foolish to think this so easy. Interesting. So, I'm fine when I move to here. Uh, that, I needed that one undone. There we go. Made it. All right, get down here, guys. Yes, sir. Unwise. The constructs react poorly yep, when that's you what I was afraid of. I'm trapped in here. <laughs> Thank you, Admiral Akbar. It's a trap! I like that they numbered their spears. 9,400 number 2. Uh. A, by the way, not just 9,402. 9,402-A. <laughs> Start. Star date. <laughs> something, something, something. Not a big Star Trek, uh, to be honest. I watched a little bit of Voyager with my dad, but that was a, not much. I think that's a manufacturer number, and then the A is is For which one of the manufacturer it is. I've watched lesser creatures die. Okay, you know, I don't devices. actually know what remote battery does. Let's what check it. What a clever little fish. Chest? Where? Oh, good find. Alright, let's see what this does real quick, because I didn't actually check this last time. Okay, defense systems. Magic increased by 10%, gain access to laser defense systems from the base. Oh, um, the laser defense systems are on our side. They're not on the enemy side, so we should be activating those. Oh. Okay, that's definitely why we should read our effects. <laughs> Stamina increased by 10%. When stamina is reduced to 30% or less, stamina recovery is supercharged for 4 seconds. This effect can occur more than than once every 60... It's going to occur no more than once every 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, that's really nice for a stamina-based character. It's like your stamina drops below 30, and then suddenly your stamina recovery is supercharged. It's probably good for, like, when you're dashing, too. Yeah, like, my stamina is, like, barely, like, going down there for a little bit while I was dashing because of the supercharge. Just like a fish to swim into my jaws. I was gonna say, back when Rose Petal Bastion came out, I was running it for gear with some friends, and every single time with a gun, in one of the rooms, there would be a chest in the floor, All right. and I could see it Let's get to the station because center. it was glowy. Oh, but it would always stack. be in the floor. Central core is right behind. Yay! Ah, blocked again. Come with me. I recently made a new spell. It was just for fun, but it 
could work here. It never ends. Yeah, there's a heavy sack oh, on the lightning if you oh, didn't get it already. Well, at least we found something. We found one chest and one heavy sack. Nope. Now it's time for a walk to the ocean floor. This is the coolest part of the dungeon. Besides the falling part. Kind of the falling part's really cool too. I'm so slow. And then a giant shark came down and ate us. The end. Wait, we shouldn't merge our bubbles. What happens if we do? They pop. <laughs> and then we drown. Well, I won't drown. I can breathe underwater. That's... But there, are benef there are benefits to being amphibious. Actually, the water pressure probably wouldn't even affect me all that much. I don't think we're that deep. It looks pretty deep, though, doesn't it? Well, look how look how tall the. There. I was saying just look how tall the. Um, well, you got to remember that this tower is a long way underwater. All right. Um, so, do you guys all know about the? Uh, I know Jay and RCG know this, but Tina, do you know about the mechanic for this? How you run to the ghost to heal yourself while yes. you try and get rid of the ghosties that are flying to him? Yes. Yes. Okay, making sure. I didn't know if you guys got to that part or not, so... That's why we kept dying. Yeah, I, I did think that was kind of weird that you can't see anyone else. Maybe they didn't want the players competing for the health. How kind of you to swim right into my open jaws. Wow, that we we did 20% hit really fast. <laughs> Do not avert your eyes. Gaze upon true fear. He's gonna do his thing now. You know one of the benefits of being a sorcerer is? I can flash the ghost. I can find you flash the ghost? No, I can flash to the ghost. Oh god, I might die. Yeah, I have my, um, my Storm Atronach helping blast them down. I don't know why there's a random glitch at the bottom of the ocean. Did he get trapped down here or something? He's studying necromancy and. 
Probably he was just a ghost. He was just a person who got trapped down here. And yeah. then he was like, Oh, I'm trapped. I might just uh, I I'm gonna die and then he died. I'll try to keep myself alive forever. That did not work. Lichdom is very hard to achieve. And actually, the weirdest thing is, is that we kill him, but we don't break his phylactery, so he doesn't actually die. He could come back in a future game for DLC. Because destroying a lich's corporal body doesn't kill the lich. See, he says, I'll be back as he goes down. Well, I think he's just copying the turn radiator. I'd say we found the undead source. Oh, I got a... Ooh, I got a Risto staff. This is it. Opal Vildreth Mole. It was obtained. Laurel seems the lich you... The logbook describes this island as a dwarven machine. They wanted to control the weather. Hmm. That explains how it can create storms. I'll send more of the Mages Guild here to shut it down. This looks like the end of Graven Deep. You believe the storms came from this machine? Me? I won't dare assume anything about Dwarven machinery. Without the map, I'd have no clue how to find this core, or that there's even a core to find. This logbook suggests the Dwarves experimented with weather control here. Weather like huge storms. Why did the lich continue creating storms? Hmm. That's worth exploring. We saw many undead in this station's halls. Perhaps the lich wrecked ships to build an army, or consumed souls of sailors. The ways of such creatures are dark and awful. I'll ask a guild colleague to look into it for me. What do you know about the weird men about the weird mentioned in the logbook? An interesting bunch. They live in the high rock forests, worshipping trees. I've met a few in my day, and I'm on good terms with the Beldama Weiris. I'm not sure the exact difference between weirds and druids, but don't tell Druid Laurel I said that. Why is it important that the Druid King met with the weirds? That's a question for Laurel. The logbook's author seems surprised that they met, but may the sea take me if I know why. She'll have to tell me the significance of such a meeting when I deliver the book to her. Why? How do we leave this island? Way ahead of you, mate. You saw the raft I built on the beach? I promise you, it's sturdy. I've crafted many such transports over the years. Saved my life on more than one occasion, too. This portal will return us there. Then, we Thank you. Alright. Thank you for that, uh, repair. And I got a ring. Cool. From the quest. Nice. Some nice progress on the collection. I'm... That's strange. I've, I am missing a couple pieces of armor, but I was getting repeats. Maybe the smart RNG isn't properly calculated for this dungeon yet. That does happen sometimes. Alright, so when everyone is ready, we will jump into the second dungeon. I am ready. Ready. Alright, go into the second dungeon. I'm gonna refill my drink. Yeah, I'll do that too. Be right back. Oh great, I got the UI error. Hold on. Let's see if I can get rid of it. There we go. Alright. 
I guess I'll go ahead and stop, start talking to Druid L'Oreal uh, while we're waiting for RCG so I can get that part done with. We'll kill anyone who gets between us and our prize. That's your last warning, Laurel. We invited you in. We welcomed you. The seed. We can't let him take it. Attacked? Here? In the Earthen Root Enclave? This can't be happening. Okay. Thanks for being patient. What I'm happened back. here? The Firesong Circle attacked. Our druid cousins attacked us. Their leader, an arch druid called Daviric, demanded that the druids here give him the Stone Lore Sacred Seed. As if they would just hand it over. Uh, why didn't they just give them what they want? Even if the Archdruids told them to bow to this path trader's demands, I wouldn't. The Circles live in harmony. Storming into this enclave and raising it to the ground? It's unthinkable. You have to help me stop Archdruid Daviric. What's a path trader? Druids try to follow Ifray's true way. But when one of us does something like this, betrays the path to the true way, well, that druid gets shunned. It's difficult to deviate so far from the true way. But Ifray wouldn't want this. Uh, I'll follow Archdruid Dervik. Why is Archdruid Dervik doing this? Is that flaming light trying to cleave the circles apart? He said he's after the Stonemore Seed. But why? He's heading toward the Dais of Stonesight. That's where I'll meet you. Druid Liam needs my help. Um, what's the stone lore sacred seed? A gift from the last Druid King. He gave the leaders of each of the circles a seed to care for until such time as the seeds would be needed. That's a very literal translation of the prophecy. I came here to learn more about the stone lore seed. What do the Druid King's seeds do? Our records of the Druid King's last days are limited. I've studied them, potentially more than anyone else, and even I don't know. But if Archdruid Daviric is willing to kill to get the Stone Lore Seed, then we can't let him have it. You're a Druid? I'm a historian in the Stone Lore Circle. The Fire Song and the Elder Tide Druids look down on us for accepting outsiders, but they've never been violent before. These Stone Lore Druids treated me like family. I thought the Fire Song were family, too. You're a historian? I study the Druid King. I used to think that understanding the shared past of our circles would resolve our differences, but the mystery is what calls to me now. Truthfully, I wish I was still unaware of all of this. Then I'd still have hope. There's a Druid King? There was, centuries ago. He led the Druids of old to the Sisters Archipelago. But he foresaw something. The stories make it sound terrible. He's the reason the druids split into three circles. And he gave us our sacred seeds. Do you know Archdruid Drovic? His village housed me on Ephelon, the Fire Song's island. It contains some of the most intact records about the druid king's life. Archdruid Daviric was never friendly, but almost no one was. The Fire Song respect him. He is an Archdruid, after all. Archdruid? Each circle has many Archdruids. I'm not sure how many the Fire Song have, and they rarely leave their island. We thought Archdruid Daviric was here to learn, but now he's going toward the Dais of Stone Sight. What's the Dais of Stone Sight? This enclave hosts the spirits of stone, root, and air. At their diocese, Druids can commune with the spirits and experience nature as they do. Gaining stone sight would allow Archdruid Daviric to see all that rests in the rock here. How will that help him get the stone lore seed? Maybe that path trader thinks it's planted in the ground. The spirit won't help him anyway. Not when the blood he spilled still drips into the earth. Sky and dirt have long memories. All right, so that's done. Everyone ready? Uh, give me just a second here. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to do the secret boss. We're going to head for the secret bosses first. Um, those are the uh, 
the bonfires uh, that are on the map. Um, you can see the, the very Pacific markings. Uh, we have to activate all three of them and kill the enemies that appear to trigger the uh, boss encounter. Hey Joe, welcome to the stream. We're on the second dungeon. It's a bear! I guess what I have for dinner. Yes. <laughs> no, I had I had a plenty of ice cream that was coffee brownie flavored. Oh nice. Ooh. And there's bits of cosmic brownie in it. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I would call that dinner though. I would. <laughs> ice cream's always dinner. <laughs> I'd like to, I can't wait till we find out more about uh, what the new feature coming in um, with the the second DLC of the year is, you know, the second zone DLC of the year is, because we've always gotten like a new feature as well. Uh, we got the collection system with Mark Hearth, and we got the armory system with um, Deadlands, so I'm kind of interested to see what we get this year. I'm kind of halfway hoping it's an update from the companion system. We definitely could use a companion system update. Like, I don't know, another, maybe more quest or maybe, you know, companion romance. That would be nice. But I don't think we're going to get that this soon. It could be nice, though. We have four companions to pick from now. Maybe companion vampire or werewolf. Like, if you're a vampire or werewolf and you have max affinity with that companion, you can convince them to become a werewolf on that character only, though. Like, it doesn't, like, you know, kind of like how their uh, costumes uh, don't carry from one character to another, or their mounts don't carry from one character to another. Like, the vampirism state would be turned on or off if you've done that quest on that uh, character. I think that would be an interesting way to do it. It is so weird not having the Ring of the Pell Order on. You better not. I don't. I took it off. I gotta remember to put it on for tomorrow's stream, though. <laughs> yeah, I went, I, I went, a, I went a half a stream last time uh, before I remembered to put the ring back on, which is not good when a lot of my survivability on this character is, is tied up in the ring of the Pell Order. <laughs> okay. So, we're lighting the second bonfire. What makes you feel better about my dinner, Stormer? I also had a uh, pita flatbread with some hummus, indigo tomatoes, and some sliced kalamata olives. That does make me feel better, yes. Okay. I had my healthy with my unhealthy. <laughs> Did you at least eat the ice cream first? No, I ate the ice cream second. RCG is <laughs> like dinner, like or dessert first, and then dinner. No, one one time I did it one time where I had ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dessert. I didn't eat ice cream again for like six months. <laughs> it was an accident too. It was totally an accident. I, I'm not kidding. I went, so there's this place in New Hampshire called Campbell's Farms Ice Cream, and they have fucking, gig sorry, they have freaking gigantic ice cream. Like, gigantic. Um, if you buy the kid size, the kid size is the medium. Wow. I think Tina just said a bad word. <laughs> sorry. You're fine. I was it's more really, surprised really that you said a bad word. <laughs> I try not to swear. <laughs> Gilda. Um, and then, uh, so I was staying at my aunt and uncle's house with my mom because she had come up to visit. And they were only about a half an hour away from my college, so I stayed at their house for the night. And in the morning they got up and went to Kimball's for breakfast, and we ended up having some ice cream while we were there. 
um, yes. because I'm usually not super hungry. Uh, Joe in the chat has pointed out that you should eat dessert last because it leaves the most pleasant taste in your mouth when you're done because you had ice cream last. Yes. The dessert sweet taste. first, you feel like you're getting away with something. Yes. Because, okay. So, in case you can't hear RCG, Joe, he's pointing out that uh, because of the rule dinner first, then dessert, um, you're getting away with something when you have dessert first. So, because you're basically doing the taboo thing by not by disobeying what your parents taught you as a kid. Mm, my my mother never said that dessert was first. Was oh, I didn't know last. if you could hear RCG or not. But anyways, I was, wow, I was, uh, I... On my screen. It's not gonna affect the stream, it just affects my screen. Mm -hmm. So, so, I had gotten, we went to Kimbo's, we ate, and then we went back to their house, and my mom woke up, and she was like, You went to Kimbo's without me? Let's go for lunch. So we went to lunch, and I had lunch, and I also had ice cream again. And then I got driven home, and the girls that I lived with were like, Hey, we should go get dinner and some ice cream. Why don't we go to that Kimball place you've told us about so many times before? <laughs> so I went, Okay! <laughs> so we went, and, and I bought ice cream, and I ended up getting a, a, a medium by accident, because it wasn't paying attention, and so then I had ice cream for the next, you know, week. <laughs> Uh, it was, and I was also very tired because I drove back and forth about an hour. <laughs> Several times that day. Alright, so we need to get to the bridge and cross it to get to the first boss. At least we actually know how to do, at least we know how to do the uh, second secret boss now. Uh, it took us a minute to figure it out on Tuesday. You have to gather the water, and then you run and water the flower, and the flower opens up, and then that's it. Then you have to do that on all three flowers. And this time, I we won't take the water to the furthest away flower. <laughs> it's like we the did last. I don't know what it's was wrong. wrong. It was like a gale so dumb. <laughs> No, we didn't. We were we were running it blind. To be fair, like we had none of us had looked up a guide or anything. So, ah. it's a flower named Flowey, like in uh, Undertale. Yeah. Uh, during this fight, um, this these rocks will appear. Uh, when it does, you have to hide behind them. Hey, my Atronach is coming in. And my Atronach looks so puny in comparison. <laughs> Stormy just doesn't get a lot of... I mean, Stormy gets a lot of use. Take cover. Now, sometimes he'll do this twice, and you have to hide behind two different pillars. Yeah, like this. Doing his thing. Shoot! No! Ah, uh, my streak didn't. I was trying to bar switch so I could streak over there, and my bar wouldn't switch. Ugh. Sorry. Oh, that's not good. That might be a white. Oh crap! Yeah. 
I'm really glad Argonian's potions are like super god tier potions. Jay, well, you were that so was close not to not what I intended to use. I accidentally used the wrong ultimate. I tried to pull down Stormy and accidentally used the... the wrong ultimate. I, I want to get, uh... I'm trying to max out Mage's Guild on Rewish so I can get, uh, Meteor for him, but... Because that's a really good ultimate because it gives me, uh, it'll give me 2% more magicka just by slotting it. And that doesn't the slotting the media give you another thing too just from slotting it? Yeah, this pillar will steal yeah, it depends on what it is. We gotta pull her up. Okay, we gotta go to the next pillar, which is right here, like right here by this side. Oh, this isn't bad. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. This reminds me of the first boss in Steel Collar Peak. Steel Collar Peak. Uh, don't remind Please. me, I have flash. I'm having flashbacks to Steel Collar Peak right now. <laughs> oh, that breaking bumper. There were, there were, there were orcs everywhere. Or ogres everywhere, or something everywhere. Whoa! Instead of Skyrim flashback. Ogres everywhere. <laughs> did a Skyrim flashback? When yeah, that, he did something and it shot me in the air about 20 feet. Oh, like when oh. the giant knocks you up in Skyrim? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Only he knocks you into Arch the stratosphere. Went down the <laughs> yeah, he oh, kills you. It's well, I take care of this corruption. <laughs> All right, we have to go down, down, down to the bottom of the route, where unfortunately we will not meet SpongeBob. Okay, so uh, there are three green pools in this uh, area. We got to go to each of the green pools and take water t to the flowers. Um, the pools are guarded by Spriggans, and they're actually quite annoying. But that's just Spriggans in general. Spriggans in Skyrim are the worst, especially at low levels. When you run into a Spriggan, it's pretty much a death sentence. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, I'm going to be playing Skyrim on stream uh, here soon, so I'm sure I'm going to have a few run-ins this stream. Are you doing the special edition? Yes, and actually anniversary edition. So I'll be doing I'll be doing a bunch of the um, I'll be doing a bunch of the creations as well. So like I fully intend to do Shadows of the Tribunal and a few others. So uh, we're going to have to fight our way past uh, to to this flower. So. Oh, yes, and it's the giant dead bear again, which is not ominous at all. Ah, what the heck? I hit my heel. I hit my heel and I still died. It just... Just look at this huge bear. It's like we have, we have, a, we have time. Just look at this big bear. Yeah, I have that mount. Uh, do we still have the full? I, I think my vessel got empty when I got knocked out. So someone else will have to water the flower. You, you don't have it anymore either. We have to go back and refill it. Then I guess if you die, you lose it. I didn't die. Yeah, yeah, I don't have mine either. Yeah. So okay, back to the back to the pole. We're we're doing fine. We're we're just about where we normally are on time for the uh, for this kind of dungeon run. So 
these generally last anywhere from about uh, 140 to about 149, so. And we're at 110 right now, so. Wait, that didn't activate. Why didn't that activate? There we go. Alright. Yeesh. Jay, you are so fast. <laughs> You're like Tina's uh, Wood Elf uh, DPS characters. No, no, they have the zoomies. I, I, I remember once I was like, is, does Tina be her character Skuma? <laughs> All right, the first flower is activated. How, How did you is. know? Look, your eyes dilate when you're on moon sugar. <laughs> Doubly so when it's skooma. He's got a separate so Yeah. She's got to separate herself from her murder thieving way somehow. Well, actually, technically speaking, a good green pack following, um, a good green pack following, um, what? A good green pack following, uh, Wood Elf wouldn't partake of Moon Jeffers. Because it's from a plant. And that's why her sister, this healer, does not. Green pack is quite strict. These guys aren't as bad the second time. That's two flowers down. One to go. Oh, also, we won't have to partake in par hardcore parkour because I can cheat with streak today. <laughs> that was funny, Mark. I, I mean... We, we had a really cool tank helping us out Tuesday, but he just kept falling down. Bless your passing. Every time I think of nodes, I think of StarCraft and those uh, nodes that you can set up to make transport between your bases faster and on the Zerg side. They have these, for those who aren't familiar with StarCraft, they have these buildings that you can make called nodes. And then uh, whenever you build one, you can build, you can uh, for free build a second one uh, using uh, an option inside of the same building. And that second one is connected to the first one, so you can send troops back and forth to, uh, to your chosen location. And you can put it down anywhere that where there's slime that you control. Like, uh, you can't put it down on another uh, horde 
player, not word, uh, Zerk player's um, slime unless you have a um, building on that slime. Um, because you don't control the slimes, which... Or is it called the ooze? I can't remember. It's that purple stuff on the ground in StarCraft. The Zerg have to build on it. Except for hatchery. Sorry, I'm the only one... I don't know. Has anyone else here played StarCraft? Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm the only one, sorry. No. Night, Joe. How did he kill me? I was at full health. Very careful. Uh, one shot I can't. Maybe. My witch mother cutting brood. It was bound to happen eventually. So much smoother than me. Alright. No need to fear Lutia. Back to the main room where we fight the uh, secret boss. This one gives us access to the blue orb or the green orb, I can't remember. Yes. Oh, it's the blue orb because this is gonna be the, the Nereid. The, okay. the, the water woman. Oh, yep, here's the portal uh, of doom. Very grateful of you, Lucia. We freed you from your prison and you're going to try to kill us. Do you think uh, she was trapped there by the, um, the fire song, or do you think that the stone warder is uh, imprisoning her and we let her out of her prison? Don't know. I do know the fire song are going to be the big bad guys of the next DLC along with the Ascended Order, so I'm assuming that uh, we'll be fighting them primarily in the next DLC, and then we'll fight this in the Lord at the end of, you know, the little wrap-up quest, so. Alright, so, time to head for the next boss. Honestly, it's, it looks like we're going to beat our, our all-time speed record on running both new dungeons. Oh, dear gracious. Um, I didn't realize there were two huge wolves here. Hopefully we will survive. They must have been 
allies with the stone uh, thorn. Not stone thorn, stone circle. Stone lord, sorry. Yeah, because normally you don't think of trees as enemies. Root rot and waste! Archdruid de Beric raised a barrier. We can't get through. This spell is too strong to break on my own. Destroy the nearby trellis sentinels. Okay, look, I'm hitting the button to bar shift. Why is it not working? Yeah, I thought the whole reason they were changing combat was to help speed it up. Hurry, bring down the next one. Because less animations and less um, damage going around, uh, the more graphics that it can handle. I think most of the reason they wanted to do it was so that they could close the gap between new players and old. That makes sense because going into PvP it's almost impossible for uh, casual players to keep up with the experienced players. Yeah. Like those, like the, the time we ran into that uh, person that like seven of us couldn't kill, remember that? And like he was trolling like, literally seven players, like that's like actually ridiculous. Like, seven players should be able to gang up on one person and kill them. That's just my opinion, though. So what's good for PvP isn't necessarily good for PvE sometimes. Yeah. I still think the corruption of roots looks like a spriggan had a baby with a witch. That's a very accurate description. There's a tree, kill it. Oh, <sighs> day. We're almost done though, there's two bosses left after this. And then a wall of text, and we're done. I watched the first episode of Rings of Power tonight. It's good, it's good. Which, uh, what did you watch? What was it you watched? First episode of the Rings of Power. Oh, Rings Thank of Power. You. Oh, okay. I still haven't got around to watching it yet. I need to. I've been watching She Hulk on Thursday. It is, yes. I don't know why people are hating on it online. We retreat into the dark. Jennifer Walters is a believable Hulk. Oh, 
kind of interested to see where the uh, big reveal at the end of the last episode goes. I'm not going to reveal Tatiana. what that is in case you haven't seen it yet. Tatiana Maslany is an amazing actress. Yes. I watched her in Black... Uh, what's it called? Both in Black. That was on BBC. Oh, she was so good. Kind of strange that we don't have like an overarching plot going on right now. Like, um, like we kind of have hints to what's like, but like in um, all the most of the other shows, you know, we had a plot that you know was set up in the first episode and they followed it all the way through. But we hadn't really, we didn't really have that this time. Like so far, it's been kind of more of a, uh, you know, more of a traditional romp where we're not really sure where it's going. The of I think that's what they Find were intending, moral. so. I think, I think the, um, has everyone here seen She-Hulk that's going to watch it? I don't want to say anything and ruin uh, it for someone. I have not seen the most recent episode. Okay, well, I can talk about the first couple episodes. Season yes. three, or episode three, where the, the Wrecking Crew attacks her. I think yeah. it's going to be more important than most people realize. Like, I, I think that, like, whatever big plot hook is coming, I think it's going to involve whoever their boss is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, um, didn't, um, didn't, uh, Bruce already fly off on that? Do you see your rest? Yeah, that's what I thought. I do. All I see is myself squashing your hopes my boot. Yeah, so in this one, we have to get to these special circles, which unfortunately requires hardcore parkour uh, to get to, but it's a good thing I'm a sorcerer. Because <laughs> I can just flash over and not have to, to do the jumping and stuff. Our take last time kept falling to his death trying to, um, trying to get across. Except in the last one. He made it in the last one. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> oh, did you tell Dumble that the uh, High Isle was teasing the Talvani Peninsula? When you tell him, let him tell him that if it does in fact come, I will do a trivia. I'll do a Morrowind trivia uh, night uh, to celebrate uh, right before its launch. Yeah, he tried to bribe me um, right after the uh, first trivia night. He's like, I will give you uh, something amount of uh, fake dollars, uh, Monopoly money, if you uh, put him do it if the next one is a Morrowind trivia night. I'm like, yeah, I was like, does your wife know that you're trying to bribe me? <laughs> uh, he was, no, he bet him, he, he, he was using Monopoly money, like not actual for him. <laughs> He's like, he was like, hey, uh, I need you to, uh, I need you to pay Stormer. <laughs> He's not. I got a second story stone. I got one of those early, uh, earlier. 
Oh yeah, that works really well. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. I thought I was going off the edge too there for a second. <laughs> <coughs> Those are some big lurchers. Sometimes at work, people will be like, Do you take this certain type of card? And I'll be like, We take everything except Monopoly money. <laughs> Oh man, there was a uh, <coughs> there was a video on TikTok of a person who goes to restaurants and they have a uh, Uno reverse card and they put it down on the bill and then the person some will pull out like the waiter will pull out a Uno reverse card and play it back on them. So it's like I reverse it to you. It's like no, I reverse it back to you. <laughs> <coughs> you can tell it's time for another Musinex. Okay, we have to go around for me to get to that Terra Stone, unfortunately. We can't access it from right here. No one gets in the Arch Druid's way. Why is my... Oh, there. That's why. My bard at the swap again. Yeah, these stone Atronarchs can actually shoot things out of So actually, um, are, are any of you familiar with the anime, uh, Boofery? I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max my defense. Boofery! Oh, yes. Uh, I've been reading the light novels, um, oh, okay, thank god. I've been reading the light novels, and, um, uh, Maple's had to fight a boss in this most recent one, uh, who was stealing her OP skills. Could you imagine fighting a boss that can say, hey, yoink, and take your skills away from you? you. Fudge. Uh, I will be back. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. You're only just a little behind Tina, so that's good. <laughs> Did Tina fall too? Yeah, Hannah fell. By the way, uh, Tina, I heard that there is that you have a new game out now called Tina's uh, Tina's Wonderland. What's it like having your own game? You should ask her. Mom. Wonderful, <laughs> but you should ask Mama. Yes, that's her name. <laughs> like I keep forgetting and calling her Tina when I know it's supposed to be Anna. Sorry, Anna. I just have it to say Tina. You're fine. Did I don't you, care what you call me. You threw yourself off again, didn't you? I tried. I did not succeed. I did swear I as I was falling. I already activated <laughs> that one, so... I didn't know that! Yeah, don't worry about that. We don't have to do it. I wonder... It would probably be instant death if you jumped in the ocean from here. If, if you can even can. I don't know if you even can jump into the ocean here. Quick, Anna, I need you to chest something. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably either a barrier that'll cause environmental damage right before you get to the water, or there's water a lot fish of fish. in the water. Yeah. All right. One or the other. No. I will hurt you. <laughs> oh, come on. I will hurt you. Uh, none of my oh, skills are working properly. Anyway. Uh -oh. There we go. Now, now they are. Pearl dodge always works. Your corpse will feed the dirt. But no, um, I'm on book six, which is the last one out in English right now, and uh, the events of the anime, which is, I don't know if the anime is the only one that you've seen or not, but um, the events of the anime only cover, uh, are only covered by like the first four books. Is 
this is why I'm here. <laughs> By the way, this is where the Indric is. No, Jay. Oh, the secret boss. Yep, he's here, and he is angry. Told you guys how much I absolutely abhor Indrix. No. Well, I hate them more now. Did you not like riding on them? When... I don't have one because they're weird looking, and I don't like the noise they make. Yeah, and they're teleporting. I like Blade Dog on Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, that 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 is weird. That part is weird. I also don't like how it can't decide whether it's a, a horse, a stag, or a bird. Why can't it be all three? Like man bear pig. This is not Avatar The Last Airbender, <laughs> where Turtle bear up. owls are, are Flat more up common. Bear. Look, the turtle ducks are adorable. You can't deny the turtle ducks. I can't believe those dudes are the turtle ducks. Also, the Indric, every time I hear the Indric make a noise, it sounds like it's either someone has a snuffy nose and is zipping up a jacket at the same time. It's personal. It, it's like it's like the Evan, Evan Wolf's mouth that sounds like a dying Furby. It's just preference. Dying Furby. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know all too well what that sound sounds like. <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of Furbies growing up, and unfortunately, uh, when their batteries died, they made weird noises. Oh, uh, I live next to a cemetery, so my house is haunted. So the yeah. one that I took my batteries out of and stuffed in my closet would talk at night. Yeah. So, I Furbies. really don't like Furbies. Furbies may or may not be the reason that to I'll this day I sleep in the white like a night light. Besides the fact that Goal I'm night not the only and one I have to get up to go to the bathroom, it's just safe for me to have a uh, light on because I can't see in the dark. I, will I don't have, I have zero night vision. You have so many night lights in my house. I have just the one. I'm thinking about getting another one for the bathroom because that way I don't Spirits have to turn on the light and climb the that. bathroom. Maybe one for the kitchen, too. They have these new ones that project uh, pictures and stuff. I was thinking of an air, like an air freshener one. Like one that has a, like an air freshener attached to it. Or that's attached to an air freshener. I will crush you. He's turning into a werebear. Or just a regular bear. I'm not actually sure if he's a werebear or a regular bear. It's, it's like, I think he's a werebear. Yeah, but druids have the ability to shape shift. It's one of their iconic abilities. Oh. Uh, if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons, uh, druids have a wild shape ability which allows them to. Uh, Turn into um, animal. And the arch druid ability in five Ow. Um, makes it so you can change to use your wild shape in a limited number of times a day. So, 
which is usually you have like a limit to it in terms of your wild shape. So I think it's like twice per rest. Plus one turn on extra and you can just like live in animal form forever. Yeah, he's like, this form is too good for you. Change it back into a person. Even the smallest energy can defeat you. Your blood will cook my snout! I think he's back up above 25% again, so we're gonna have to work him back down before I can use uh, in this hearing on him again. Oh yeah, I forgot he has a breath lightning attack. Ah. Guess he's in spammable range again. Oh, I got another Undaunted box. What will it be? What will I get this time? Oh, hey, Tina, do you want that thing I linked in the chat? He was a blight and a thorn. But still. What did you link? Yes. What, it? <laughs> what did you link? <laughs> oh, it should have been a pair of... Oh, maybe I didn't link it. I thought I did. Oh, nope, I didn't link it because I bound, I bound it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> what did you link? Yes. It was supposed, it was supposed to have been a pair of pants. I hope do look alright. <laughs> I won't be able to contact him for a while. Sorry. Not with everything that's happened. It's okay. Why? I'm just Aren't gonna giggle. Sure the the <laughs> so many dead, and the Enclave is in ruins. Rebuilding alone will take so long. You know Doroth? I discovered a logbook covering a portion of the Druid's journey to Galen. It's strange. Why only document part of the route? I asked Duluth if he could investigate. I hope he's off on an adventure. <coughs> I certainly miss his company and stories now. What will you do about the seed? I'll take it to Galen. It's our duty to keep this seed safe. And Galen it's not safe here. looks like where we're going to be going Not after next, what happened. Um, what will we do with it? That's or the for the prologue. Decision. Next prologue. But I'm sure it will be secreted away again. Did Archdruid uh, Devrick ever say what he wanted or why he wanted the seed? All he said was that his leader made him one of Ifray's chosen. But Ifray would never select that foul smelling sack of root rot for anything. Still, I, I wonder why he cared about this seed. If he wanted to study it, the Fire Song have their own. Uh, uh, you're going to restore the Enclave? Not me, unfortunately. I only came here to study the sacred seed. If I tried to help, I'd be more likely to pluck the flowers than the weeds. No, the Enclave's keepers will restore this place. They'll care for the spirits now. Um, what will you tell the other druid clans? I need to ask our archdruids. 
but it may be useful to reach out to the Elder Tide Circle. They could have information and insight. With what just happened, I doubt we'll talk to the Fire Song. But the Dreyfa will hear of this. I'll make sure of it. What's the Del Delphal? A council of some of the most influential druids from each circle. They settle disputes and handle concerns across all three circles. I'll bring this to their attention and let them decide what to do about Archdruid Deviric and the Fire Song. Unfortunately, the Elden Tide were also involved with the um, uh, with the Ascendant Order as well. So actually, so two of the three circles were actually directly involved with this madness. All right, but that is going to end the dungeons. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, the run. If you're watching this in the future, I hope you en enjoyed it. Um, this is going to be the end of the Lost Depths DLC, and we are ready for the prologue quest for, um, I believe, is anyone, does anyone know what they've announced the uh, next zone DLC is gonna be called? Is it Fire Song? No idea. <laughs> Well, I will, of course, say more about that the next time I know more information on my regular stream. Uh, streaming tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, uh, because I will be busy on Sunday. So you can join me right here on twitch.tv slash StormerMia, or if you're going you know, to watch this on YouTube, it's twitch.tv slash StormerMia, where you can watch me stream live, or, of course, you can watch the, uh, you can watch the archives here. Um, I want to again thank RCG, uh, Anna, and uh, Jay Maloney for coming out tonight. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Right, and I, shall, I hope to see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys at guild events and stuff, but I hope to see you guys on stream again the next time we have a new DLC, to, uh, new DLC dungeon runs to do. So, all right, and that's, good night, everyone. Good night.